Today we are going to have a discussion about retained placenta. A placenta is said to be retained if it remains undelivered by usual controlled cold traction after one hour of delivery of the baby. But also it can delay for longer if we don't use active management of third stage of labor. So it can be longer if you don't do active management and shorter if the patient is bleeding. Risk factors for retained placenta can be previous history of retained placenta, previous myomectomy, previous caesarean section, prematurity and preterm birth, among others. Retained placenta is one of the causes of postpartum hemorrhage. In management of retained placenta, you have to ideally put her in a place where you can ensure asepsis, where you have good lighting, where the patient can be given pain control and good positioning in a restatome bed. In theater, if possible, and if the patient is bleeding, can be done on the ward. A patient who has retained placenta, make sure that you have drained the bladder, bladder is empty, and the patient is positioned. You have given prophylactic antibiotics. Now, in restatome position, Use your dominant hand to follow the umbilical cord or the remnant of the umbilical cord into the vagina. While the non-dominant hand supports the fundus of the uterus. Use the ulnar aspect of the palm to find the edge of the placenta and peel it off sequentially until it is complete in your hand. Hold the placenta in your hand Retract gently and offer counter-traction on the abdomen to deliver the placenta complete. At delivery, use both hands to examine the edge and surface of the placenta for completion. After delivery of the placenta, ensure the uterus is contracted, there is no bleeding, there's, there are no tears. If there are any, you repair them, make the mother comfortable, and give her antibiotics. <laughs>